All right, well, good morning. Um, hopefully you can see a little something. Uh, we are just kind of getting going. It rained like a bastard all morning. Last night was fantastic, but this morning, rained like crazy. So we're just getting rolling now. You can see it's raining out. Probably a lot, if any, footage is gonna show up today just like this from inside the vehicle. So um, I don't know. Stay tuned, thank you for watching, and uh, 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 here we go. Mm. All right, so we're making it down the trail. It's rainy, it's wet, everything's crazy, but we're getting it done. We had to bust out with the chainsaw, we had to cut a bunch of trees down because we had to go through a creek bed that the, the road, if you, if you want to call it a road, was impassable, so we had to make room for all these vehicles, but running into friends up on the trail, Things are good, and we're gonna get back to rolling. We made it up to the top of the hill. We actually have cell service, I just checked in. Apparently there was a ton of tornadoes that came through here last night. We didn't know nothing, we were just like, yeah, we're wheeling, <laughs> it's raining. Everybody's getting turned around because we are headed back down in to go find some more fun. Look how nice it looks now. There, so, we're gonna back in. There's Michael with the trailer. He's he's headed out. And there's our buddy in the Sammy. I don't, I don't have any idea who that guy is, but it's a cool little Sammy. We'll see you in a minute. I'm trying here. I don't know if it's focusing, but it is beautiful out here. This is awesome. Ooh, it's bouncy, but it's awesome. I guess we're gonna try this. I can make. That way. Go that way. There you go. Okay, cool. Yes. But in all fairness, even though it makes it look easy, he's doing it with one eye. One eye. Oh, yeah. So, you I'm know. I'm closing the other one half the time. <laughs> so unfortunately, we're not getting as much video as we would like because it was raining and everything was crazy, but I think the rain has stopped. Like you see people out here with no jackets on and it, it's sweater and it's not raining. I don't know what Jay's doing. Uh, Jay is working for the gram, y'all. So far, this has been awesome. Day two is fantastic. My hair is a mess, and uh, no one is broken. We lost, we lost what? Three trucks? Three trucks came two. Yeah. So we lost three trucks, but we found these jeeps on the road, and they're coming with us. So, 
But apparently I just have to videotape Jay all day so we can get him falling down. I don't know that the exhaust used to be tucked up so high, but that's okay. Better clearance. Yeah, so far everything looks great. Everything's in good shape. And I think uh, I think we're about to get rolling again. All right, so we have stopped here at the top of this hill just right quick. Because apparently this is the last homestead that is still somewhat standing. So we stop here just to kind of have a peek at it. And here it is. Sitting right on the side of the trail. So how about that? The river just disappears down there. I don't know, here and there. I don't know. Oh, oh. Down into the abyss it goes. You know that tree's growing up out of there and there's like a little crack right there. Yeah, little tree growing right here. Yeah, but I mean, how many thousands of years does it take for the water to run across the same spot? Slowly but surely eats it away. Just like right there. <laughs> that little drip. <laughs> so this y'all right here, this is Brent. Brent, right with an N? Brent, yeah. So this is Brent. This is the man that's getting us through everything because he's a local and he's probably got it's his shirt says Whiskey Tangle Foxtrot. We all know what that means, but probably heavy on the whiskey. You can point. when the water's not on it. Yeah. It's actually a pretty neat creek bed. But yeah, right over there, all of this river is flowing into a hole about that big around. Oh, no kidding. And I've seen water where you're standing. Yeah. And it's still all going down that one little hole. It's very I don't know how much you can see it. But you see the little swirly? Swirly, swirly, swirly. Because it's going that way, so you know we're not in Australia. This whole river here that we decided not to drive through because that would be wrong. See, we're going through the creek bed, not through the river. See, river, 
creek bed. Never mind the noises here. All that water goes down through a little hole right there. Because there's no water up there. There's none. There's no water. And there's a whole river here. It goes down a little hole there. You can't see it because of leaves, but that's pretty awesome. So there's a head over there. There's a hand and a head. I don't know if there's a man. Oh, hey! 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 Alright, here we go. This is just more Jeep people being Jeep people. And I love it! Don't fall down on your ass because I'll make you famous. Okay, so I was led to believe that the cave comes out there. Oh, uh, there's a face! Hey! hey. So I don't know. He's supposed to come out of the hole around there somewhere. Where you at, homie? He was too big for this one. He was too right here. Oh, hey! There's a dude oh. over there. Huh? See? He started out over there somewhere, and now he's over here. And uh, what? I'm I'm not going in there. Just like I'm not driving through this mess, I'm not getting in the cave because I'm chunky. Do you want to do like the Tuscan Raider victory thing? <laughs> there it is. Driver, Drew. Here comes the claim. Your passenger is about to fall down off this ledge and it's going to land on slider. Go hard driver. There you go, you're, you're clear. Nothing else, just wanted to do that. Straight past it. going straight. Now, hard driver or hard pass, hard passenger, hard passenger. Not bad. I got my left and my right mixed up. No, you got your driver and passenger mixed up. I mean, just so we're clear. to come up here because it's a jeep <laughs> I mean, this is more interesting watching you eat some kid's <laughs> breakfast here. Like, here you go. Like, he didn't put up much of a fight. <laughs> well, look at that. Huh? Mm -hmm. That's mm -hmm. happiness. That's a happy man. That's exactly right. That's a man who's not getting up the hill. That's a man who's <laughs> eating. <laughs>
your eyes. That was boom. That's it, right? Everybody's out the creek. I was just trying to be like you, and I was going to stand here for 30 more minutes doing nothing but wasting time and smoking We're right here, and we just keep following this. And this appears to be the church. What's our motto for this trip? Jeep people gonna do what Jeep people gonna do. And just so y'all know, I say that with just a little bit of love, cause like, hell yeah, go up that hill. Go on, go and get some. <laughs> Drive up that hill, it would break my axle. Yeah. Just push sand, baby. Yeah, right. <laughs> I'm down here to catch the rocks. And I ain't gonna make you look bad. I'll edit this down to like six tries. Don't worry. If somebody can spin up from behind you and fall on your spare, that's all you need. Yeah. Yeah, well, you can grow the piss in this thing, so nobody look bad. Damn it! backwards no freaking so hold my beer and be my bitch oh, I love it. <laughs> this dude is going up this backwards <laughs> yeah actually i think i might want to do it backwards <laughs> Oh, 
<laughs> Can we get you a washing machine? <laughs> Them Jeeps don't have windows in them or what? Look, that one's got windows in it. How come that one doesn't have windows in it? <laughs> I think I should try it just because Marla's not here. Hey. I wouldn't be allowed if Marla was here. Oh, you got Mama's permission now. See? Put it on, son. It's his fault. Did he just stall it? Disclaimer, when I break something, I don't want anybody to bitch and it takes 30 minutes to fix it. Okay? I can promise everybody that's not that? going to happen. Everybody's good with that. I'm going to do it. got tools, we'll help. All right. You got it. <laughs> Everybody's rolling camera, help. right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Should that guy spot you? When he got right, the guy's curved. That's an exhaust leak. Don't pick it up. <laughs> <laughs> it's got a bad spark plug and an exhaust leak. <laughs> so, you ever just sit there and watch someone ride that struggle bus long enough you think, yeah, I could do that? Well, well that was me. Watch it make a first try. Fucking send it. Smack. Hey, you made it farther than you. <laughs> <laughs> I think so too. <laughs> I never heard him smack the rock. Keep going. So close. This is like close. watching the DeLorean back up. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no room. <laughs> 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 if he made 88 miles an hour, there's no room to make it up here. Yeah. All right, go, go, go! No, I believe in you. All right. This is it right here. Keep, it, keep on it, keep on it, keep on it. There you go. There you go. Oh, oh, oh man, oh, so it. close. He's, now he's got to. He's right there. He just stayed in it. That was damn good. <laughs> <laughs> this, is, uh, this whole trip has been good, but this is like, yeah. you know, hey, Matt, like everything else. This is great. What's going to happen when he makes it up this and you don't? <laughs> don't let off at the top. Keep on it, 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 keep on it. Oh my god, no! He got hung up in the same spot you did, yeah, yeah. That's all we needed. So close! You need a chair. See, now, it feels like you're going to go. You can still feel good about it. Yeah. He made it twice as far as Matt. The older skirt down. I got that show coming out my vagina already. Hey, you're right there. You were so close, man. You got a rocket when you're up there with serious. You're right there, man. I've got a whole lot of crazy. Well, okay. All right. Wow. Okay, so in a bit of a last ditch effort to make this, I pulled off and I actually dropped my tires from the 17 PSI where I had them all the way down to 12. So here we go. Let's do it, baby. Yeah. Ooh, there it is. There it is. Yep. That's it. Yeah. No. Oh my God. It's that last thing. I'll do it for y'all. Even want to fail. I tried. But we still gotta drive home, so I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna wow. break the rest of it. Just to Where get up to the top of the hill. <laughs> There's some good wheeling out here, guys. I can't say it enough times. We're having such a great time. And it's beautiful. And the weather, it's a little bit cool. But it's nice. And that looks deep. That looks really deep.
Yeah, that was deep. It's all right, we lived. <sighs> okay, so the road was blocked up there by, a, I don't know, a backhoe or a track hoe or something like that. And uh, yeah, now we're doing the water crossing again. Yeah. <laughs> So from here to the rest of the day, this is really representative of what the entire trail looks like. You can see that we're up here above the river, that we straddled and we made many, many river crossings uh, throughout the rest of the day. But you can see the loose scrabble on the hill and we've got to go up here. And then when we get up over the hill, there's going to be a little puddle on the other side. And there aren't really huge obstacles to go through, but it just never quits. It just never stops. There's never that point where you're like, oh, I should put it back into four high and just go for it. I, I just, I don't have words for it. It is such a fantastic trail. Y'all gotta give it a shot. That's too deep. I ain't doing it. Give me a helicopter. Oh, <laughs> 
Damn right, whoa! This one here, this river crossing, was probably the spookiest of the bunch. Wasn't the deepest, you saw one of the earlier ones where the water actually came all the way up over the hood of Janky. But if you take a look in the middle of the river right there, that's some fast moving water. And as he starts hitting the bumps, it moves the truck sideways right there. You can see that's not him sliding off the rocks, that's the water pushing him over as the truck is bouncing off of the bottom. Yeah, this one here, if Michael would have continued coming with, with that trailer, I think this is where we'd have lost him. When you get to this little fast moving point in the middle of the river, since it's moving full-size trucks, it decidedly would have picked up that trailer and carried it along. So the thing, the thing I'm catching on with these trails out here in Coppinger Cove or Coppinger Cove, whatever it is out here in Tennessee, is we've been to a lot of trails where like you kind of hit a rough patch and then you hit it, you know, you go for a little bit and then you hit another rough patch. Maybe there's an obstacle or maybe there's a rough patch, but this is just endless. This never stops. I mean, this right here, this is as easy as it gets, right? And that's not to say that this is particularly difficult at the moment, but like, it just, it just never, oh. it just never lets up. And apparently, uh, we've gone so far now as to be in the Colmont off-highway vehicle park, I guess. That's what I understand. I don't you want me to wait here this time, Lewis? <laughs> yeah, we're fine. We're just crossing the river.
Still going, y'all. Not sure how far we are from the end of the trail. It's starting to get dark. Start to see everybody's got the headlights on. Who's got them headlights on behind me? I can't see nothing behind me. It's all bright. But we're still going. So, I don't know the truth behind it, but it certainly looks like that water's coming out of that rock. It might be coming down the hill somewhere, but it looks to me like it's coming out of that rock. It's pretty awesome. And we're stopped. I don't know what we're doing up there. I can just see like way up there, like I can see people shaking. So we're still driving. We're still working on it. It's all like serious four wheeling and it's all pretty. Good morning. <laughs> it's chilly in here. Uh, so we didn't we didn't get a okay we're good and we're done last night and we're closing off last night because by the time we got off that trail, I mean it was dark. It was I don't know, maybe it was six o'clock local time or seven o'clock local time. I'm not really sure, I don't really remember. Um, but it gets dark here. Like it starts going, I think the sun actually like goes down at like 4.30 and then it's dark by five. So at five o'clock it was dark and we were out here wheeling on the trail and struggling through. And then when we finally got to like the dirt road, uh, the three of us just decided, let's just stop and camp here. The only thing we're gonna do in the morning is get straight up and get back out and get back on the road because we got to get home to Charleston. So we just stayed here and the other guys continued on. You can see I got, I got my buddy heater, which, oh my God, that thing puts off a lot of heat. On low, it heated up the inside of this thing to the point that I was pushing off all the covers and sweating in, I don't know, like a minute maybe? You can't really run the buddy heater, just like turn it on and let it run for a while. Uh, you just kind of have to turn around like, ooh, it's toasty warm, turn it off, go to sleep. This Maxi Trex blanket. The problem I ran into this, I don't know how easily you can see, like the whole inside of the tent has condensation on it just because I don't have a thermometer here, but according, I actually have internet service. So according to Google, it's 28 degrees outside. And not only was am I getting condensation on the inside of the tent, but because First of all, this blanket doesn't weigh much of anything. It's extremely light. Since I put this down on top of the comforter, this was actually developing condensation on the bottom of the blanket and was getting the top of the comforter a little bit wet. I find that, that this thing works much better as like a mid layer. So I probably should have put this blanket in between my sheet and the comforter so that the comforter weighed it down and kind of kept it all as one package because this didn't weigh enough to kind of hold everything down and so the air was able to get underneath it and develop the condensation on the bottom of that where it's all shiny. Learn how to do this cold camping thing. I mean, all of the camping is new to me. At this point, it is, I don't know, it's like six o'clock or 6.30 local time or something here. The, the sun comes up pretty early because it goes to bed pretty early. I can hear Lewis has his truck running over there. I have no doubt at all that Jay is awake and just hiding underneath the covers in his tent over there. We're just going to go ahead and get up and get this thing tore down and get back home. Happy with the buddy heater. I was happy with these blankets. Oh, there's something. Yeah, the, the buddy heater. It's already run out of propane because I brought that propane bottle. It wasn't a brand new, brand new propane bottle, but it had plenty in there. It's still got some in it. I'd say it's still probably a, at least a third full and, uh, and the buddy heater shut off. Like, no, we're not doing this anymore. So uh, don't forget when you go to bed and you got the buddy heater, bring two propane cans up in here because now it's chilly and I can't use the heater. Mm. Thank you again for watching. I really hope you enjoyed uh, this. I, we've had just a fantastic trip. This was awesome. We will absolutely come back to the cove at some point. So if you haven't been here, get on out here. It's great times. Thank you so much. We'll see you on the next one. And we've been introduced to a new phrase by the Alabama boys, bussin'. And apparently if you're really bussin', 
it's bussin bussin and if you're really bussin bussin you bussin bussin oh god and, and and then you could just take it up another notch with just another hour so we bussin bussin oh god oh god nobody knows what they're talking about but it was fun meeting them they uh they just turned around back there at the top of the hill they went that way and we went this way them dudes are cool it's good to meet them